One of the most important pieces of news data for traders and investors is the FOMC meeting. So you probably have heard it many times on the news. But what exactly do they discuss and why is it so important? The Federal Open Market Committee or the FOMC is a powerful branch of the Federal Reserve that plays a crucial role in shaping the US economy. In this video, you'll learn about the origin and the responsibilities of the FOMC, how it operates and how its decisions can impact traders and investors. We'll also explore how traders and investors use the information from the FOMC to make their investment decisions. If you want to check out our infographic, and the full blog post, just click on the link below in the video description. So first off, what is the FOMC and its origin? The FOMC is a branch of the Federal Reserve, which is the central banking system of the United States. The FOMC was created by the Banking Act of 1935, which also created the Federal Reserve System. The FOMC is responsible for making monetary policy decisions, which can include changes in interest rates or other measures to influence the economy. The FOMC is made up of 12 voting members, including the 7 members of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System and 5 of the 12 Federal Reserve Bank Presidents. The Board of Governors is appointed by the President of the United States, subject to Senate confirmation and serves for a 14-year term. The 5 Reserve Bank Presidents who also serve on the FOMC are chosen by their respective Reserve Banks and serve one-year terms. How does the FOMC operate? The FOMC typically meets eight times a year, with meetings held about every six weeks. Meetings are held on a schedule that is set well in advance, and the schedule of the meetings can be found on the Federal Reserve's website. The meetings are always held in Washington DC and typically last about two days. So what are the outcomes of the FOMC meetings? So the outcomes typically published in a statement released after the meeting and the statement includes information about the current economic condition, the committee's monetary policy decisions and any other relevant information. The statement is closely watched by investors and market participants as it provides insight into the committee's thinking and can affect the financial markets. The FOMC statement typically includes the following information. The current target range for the federal funds rate, which is the interest rate at which the banks lend money to each other overnight. And next, the outcome of the vote, including any dissents, economic projections, including the expected path of interest rates, GDP, unemployment rate, and inflation. And an assessment of the current economic trends and the balance of risk. And lastly, any other relevant information such as changes to the statement language or forward guidance. So the data published in the FOMC statement is not revised or updated after the meeting, but the committee releases new economic projections and updates the statement language at each meeting. The committee also releases the minutes of the meeting three weeks after the meeting, and this provides a more detailed uh, analysis and about the discussions and the reasoning behind the decisions during the meeting. So how is this data relevant to traders and investors? The data and the information published by the FOMC is closely watched by traders and investors because it provides insight into how the committee thinks and can affect the significantly affect the financial markets. The statement and the economic projections released after the meetings can also affect the direction of interest rates and which in turn will affect the value of stocks, bonds and other financial assets. Traders and investors typically use the information from these FOMC statements and economic projections to inform their investment decisions. They pay attention to the current target range for the federal funds rate and also any changes to it as changes in interest rates can affect the value of bonds and other fixed income securities. They also pay attention to the economic projections as this can provide insight into the committee's view of the future performance of the economy and this also affects the direction of stocks and other risk assets. So for example, if the FOMC projects that the economy will perform well in the future, 
then traders and investors are more likely to invest in stocks as they expect the market to perform well. On the other hand, if the FOMC projects that the economy will perform poorly, then the traders and investors will be more likely to invest in bonds as they expect the market to be more stable. Traders and investors do pay attention to this forward guidance provided by the FOMC because it affects the expectations of the future monetary policy. For example, if the FOMC states that it expects to keep interest rates low for an extended period, then traders and investors are more likely to invest in stocks as well because they expect the market to perform well in the short term. On the other hand, if the FOMC says that they, you know, they are going to raise interest rates soon, then the traders and investors will be more likely to invest in bonds because you know, you're going to get higher returns for your uh, fixed income right? and also the market, they expect the market to be more stable in the short term. Lastly, news trading on the FOMC data. So as a trader or investor, how are you going to use all this data to make your trading or investing decisions? So here are a few practical examples. Number one, the interest rate decision. If the FOMC raises interest rates, it can lead to higher bond yields, which causes bond prices to fall. So traders anticipate this and will adjust their positions in the bond market accordingly. Similarly, if the FOMC lowers interest rates, then bond prices may rise and traders will adjust their positions as well. Number two, economic projections. If the FOMC economic projections indicate stronger than expected economic growth, traders may anticipate that this could lead to higher stock prices and thus they will adjust their positions accordingly. Conversely, if the FOMC projection indicates weaker than expected economic growth, then traders will anticipate that this will lead to lower stock prices. Number three, forward guidance. If the FOMC changes its forward guidance, this can affect traders' expectations for future monetary policy and interest rates. For example, if the FOMC signals that it plans to raise interest rates in the near future, traders may anticipate that it will cause bond prices to fall. Number four, statement language changes. The FOMC statement language changes can indicate the committee's attitude towards the economy, inflation, and monetary policy. Traders can use this information to make predictions about the future direction of interest rates, GDP, unemployment rate, and inflation, which can help to them to make their trading decisions. Here are my concluding thoughts. In summary, the FOMC is a vital component of the Federal Reserve System that is responsible for making monetary policy decisions. These decisions can have a significant impact on the financial markets, making it essential for traders and investors to stay informed about the FOMC's actions. So whether you are new to the world of finance or a seasoned professional, understanding the FOMC is crucial to making informed investment decisions. Now that I've covered all about the importance of the FOMC meeting, is it something that you will add to your trading toolbox? Let me know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, do remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to receive future updates. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.